Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon and welcome to Life in Italy for Minecraft Bedrock. Um Mm-hmm. As many as 20 regions, you will find a book inside a chest for each region, and each book contains a fact about that region. Oh, that's good. You know, I had to put this on peaceful, because, again, I don't see much of a point to... Traveling around Italy and fighting mobs. Okay, fact one. There we go. Castello de Miramare. I don't know, I'm not Italian. Fact 1, region name Friuli Venzia Giulia, building Casti Castellone de Miramare, <clears throat> built in the mid 19th century. Castello de Miramare was constructed for Ferdinand Maximilian of House Habsburg shortly before his reign as Emperor of Mexico. Okay, so on readiness is a big improvement compared to life in Hawaii. Let's see. Fact two. Venezia. Venice? Building uh, Veneto, building Venezia. Venice, an island city with networks, canals, and bridges, was once capital of the Seren Mesa, a powerful Renaissance trade republic. I'm just looking at this, it's amazing. Oh, that Leaning Tower of Pisa will get there eventually, I'm sure. Come on now. Um, what then? Oh, there we go. All right. Golo Meti. Frontier Alto Adige. Golo Meti in the Dolom. Mites, also known as the Pale Mountains, form part of the Southern Limestone Stone Alps. Very nice place. Back four. Okay.
Tetro Alaskala. Ballet and Opera, I believe. Lombardia. Tetro Alaskala. The Tetro Alaskala, abbreviated La Scala, is one of the world's leading theatres for opera and ballet. First, let's take a look in here. It's a well done, well made theater. Teatro Romano di Austo. Val de Austo. Women theatre has played an important role in women's society. Women theatre is, woman theater is often separated into two genres, tragedy and comedy. the sake all of her musty mountains Oh, come now. Shakespeare and Chekhov wouldn't have been born yet. Mole Antoliana. Parmonte. Designed in the 19th century, La Mole Antoliana is the tallest unreinforced brick building in the world. Interesting. Okay, fact seven. Hmm.
Oh, well, that's the Colosseum. Bacadasse. Liguria. Bacadasse is a picturesque village known for its pastel houses and cobblestone beach. Whilst traditionally a fishing village, today it is a well known tourist location. Okay, let's see here. There we go. Walker Manfrediana. Emilia Womagna, nationally constructed in 1310 by Francesco from Manfredi, Republic of Venice, and added the grandiose circular keep to fortify the control of the area. Okay. Yeah, Leaning Tower of Pisa. <clears throat> yes, Oliver. Toscana, building Torre Pendente de Pisa. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a freestanding bell tower. It reaches a nearly 5.5 degree tilt due to its unstable foundation, but modern engineering has reduced the tilt to 3.97 degrees. Excuse me one moment. That was the Colosseum made during uh, the Flavian Dynasty. Built during the Flavian Dynasty.
นะห้องนอนน้องมองในจงจงเลสฟอร์เลสแต่เออพลิสคอมเดอร์ฟอร์งส์แต่ลักฟอร์วีอาร์โอ้ my god โอ้ว้าวฟักส์10คันเรทอะอิสอเมซิงดูสูงแล้วมอร์เชอร์ดูสูงแล้วหรือชูสิสเตอร์สปีชส์ต้องเป็นของความสวยงามนัทรัลบิวตี้ทั้งหมดคริสตัลคลีร์วอเตอร์โอเชียนฟรอนต์มาร์ทินส์และสองพรมแดนรีสวอล์กซีสต็อกส์จากที่ได้มาจากชูสิสเตอร์สนาม Fishing. What? Yeah. What? No. Stacks, I don't. Oh, lows. s t u f f s e e m like rocks. Okay, fact eleven. Cascata del Marmore. Umbria Cascata del Marmore is a man-made waterfall created by order of Roman consul Dentatus to divert stagnant water. Remains the tallest man-made waterfall in the world to this day. Hmm.
Fontana de Trevi Colosio. Lazio, the Fontana de Trevi or Trevi Fountain is the largest Baroque fountain in the world. It is fed by an aqueduct, a man made construction for carrying water. Facts 13. Well, Is that Vesuvius? A question for later. Excuse me. Castello de Vacasca Legna. <clears throat> Abruzzo, the Castello de Vasca Legna, Vasca Waka Casca Legna was built on a rocky ledge by expanding an existing guard tower. Hmm, no, why not? Let's give us a shot. Ah! Okay, maybe I chose something a bit with a bit too much speed. Definitely not. Giordino de la Flora Apponentia. Molise. Le Giordino de la Flora Apponentia is a natural and botanical garden at 1,525 meters above sea level. Its logo includes La Belle's Maple, a tree native to the region. Now, was too bad there wasn't a hang glider on the top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. No, seriously, what is that? Is that Vesuvius? Is that Pompeii over there? Or over here. So now we know. Campania, Pompeii. Pompeii was an ancient Roman city that was completely buried from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. 
Preserving much of the city under volcanic ash. Yep. 79. The reign of Titus. Dontatus. A guard tower. Mount Vesuvius, it's not an obscure piece of information. Hello. Yeah. Truly. Puglia, truly a traditional hut constructed of dry limestone constructed from the 14th to the 20th century. They are unique to the Itria Valley. Hmm. Fact 17, so this way. Metapontian. Basilicata. Metapontian was an ancient Greek settlement. Today, the site hosts some of the best preserved Greek ruins on the Italian peninsula. Okay, fact 18. Where are we? We're going exactly. Wakuri Vecchio. Now forgive me if I'm butchering, but I've never, uh, without any prior knowledge of the pronunciation, I'm really going blind here. Calabria. Wakudi Vecchio is a ghost town formerly populated by a Greek-speaking community. It was abandoned after heavy flooding damaged the community. 
excuse me. Box 19. That is Vesuvius, isn't it? Oh, that's Mount Etna. Oh, so, yes, I have heard of that. Valle de Temple. More associated with the nymph than the actual volcano itself. Cecilia, the Valley of the Temple hosts extremely well preserved Greek temples of the Doric style, including the Temple of Concordia. From the northeast lies the tallest active volcano in Europe, Mount Etna. Oh, please, let's be taking us from the Colosseum. If we're not going to the Colosseum, I'm going to be very disappointed. Not something that you'd be allowed to do in real life, but what the heck. Yes, sir, this is Fax 20. Free, maybe. The rug, hey, Palmavera. Sardegna. Sardinia is home to the thousands of ancient sites of the Heraldic civilization. The Roque Palmavera is one such site with buildings ranging from the Bronze to the Iron Age. Hmm.
Hooray. Anyway, that will be all for today. I'm Brian Quartregan signing out. Stay straight.